Like and subscribe. What are you most afraid of as a woman? Being assaulted and killed and no one ever being able to work out what happened, or even know I am missing. Also this, I used to take nightly walks and felt safe, because I am near houses and streets, but honestly I started listening to a podcast about murder, and realized how you can be screaming for help near a bunch of houses and still go missing. People are not as willing to help as I believed, and so many more kidnapping and murders go unsolved than I thought. Depressing, but I agree with you. Same. Yep, same. Same. In my town, Mob, Utah, we had a few deaths that were never solved. It hurt so bad to know I could be killed, and my loved ones would never get an answer. This. I have been rewatching all the old unsolved mysteries and. It scares her. Out of me. I am glad Robert Stack was able to help solve lots of old unsolved murders, but Jesus there are still so many missing slash murdered women, that we have no idea what became of them d. Probably being raped or sexually assaulted. Eater, can I change my answer to just... Men. Fatter is my answer, men. Fear the common denominator of things I fear. Was coming in here, to say that I'm most afraid of men. Same, this is a reason, why I don't go for a walk on my own at night. Unfortunately it can also happen during the day. Exactly. I had a really bad anxious phase in June. Just felt horrible out of other, but couldn't really put my finger on why. It eventually led to me accidentally overdosing on lorazepam. I can't remember anything but I somehow ended up in the hospital. I could leave after a 3 day stay, and when I read my papers it said that in an interview I had with a doctor I told them, that I was scared of larger groups of people, especially men. So yeah, I second your choice. Yes that is my answer too. Being killed because someone cold no take rejection. Acid attacks are one of my worst fears. Quite literally my worst fear. I have a hard time trying to find a balance between not being responsive, and being responsive enough, to not be considered rude. Both feel like they could be interpreted wrongly. This. If I am too nice and someone gets the wrong idea and flips, when I reject him. A bar has opened near me, that has a traffic light system, you put a light on to show if you're single, or in a relationship. It's down some stairs down an alley. My first thought was, how incredibly tone deaf. The UK has a huge problem with drink spiking, women being injected with needles in clubs and rape slash murder at the moment. The Met Police in London, have turned out to be hugely misogynistic and corrupt. This bar is an assault waiting to happen. Margaret Atwood as quote comes to mind men are afraid, that women will laugh at them, women are afraid men will kill them. I don't out wear macupe, snug or flashy clothes, I make sure to stay a little overweight, I wear a wedding band, and still have to deal with creeps. I am very glad that aging, has made me less of a target. I still avoid going places alone at night. At what age, do they leave us alone? This. I just called it off with a guy, who had fallen head over heels with me, after meeting for lunch one time, and chatting here and there for a few weeks. He refuses to take no for an answer despite me telling him very clearly that I am not interested. So I finally blocked him. And I, as a woman, have to worry about whether or not he is going to turn into a stalker and try to attack me. Men don't take rejection well, it is enough to make me never want to date again. Childbirth, pregnancy, being raped, again, being killed, being stalked, again, being in a relationship with domestic violence, again, being psychologically abused, again, having my reproductive rights taken away, again. So sorry to hear, that you had to endure so much in life. I'm sure most women fear all of this in one way or another. This world is a <laughs> ed up place. To add to that having my private photos posted on the internet without my consent. And not to forget freezing during rape. And the consequences it brings afterwards, if you dare to tell anyone. It's very normal, that people can freeze, but not everyone is very aware of that. I'm so sorry you had to go through all of this. Add to that acid attacks and we have the same fears. 
being raped and murdered, or held hostage by some stranger, just because I live alone, or I'm walking my dog in the early morning or evening. Agreed also having to think about being unpredictable in your walking schedule so no one can pick up a pattern. Like WTF kind of world is this? This? Or even just being raped slash beaten by a deranged stalker, and left for dead. That happens to a lot of women in one of the major capital cities in my country, not the city I live in thank god. Same. It makes me think of Mia Marcanoa story which was horrifying in every way. I worry about this too. I want to live by myself one day, but to live in an apartment complex, which is what I want, makes me feel nervous. I don't want people to notice that I live alone, because I fear that someone is going to take advantage. Dude for real, I'll listen to so much true crime, and the amount of men that kidnap women, and for years keep them as sex slaves, force them to have his kids and what not it is just horrifying. I had to stop walking my dog before work. I usually walk her around 4am, and one day this car driving around my neighborhood stopped next to me, and a guy just got out, and started following my dog and I on our route. It was the most nerve wracking experience, and I knew that, if he grabbed me, or the car came back, that no one would know I was missing for a long time, because my kids were at their dad's house and my work world not notice me gone for a while. I usually carry a sizable folded knife on me, but even with that, and my 100 pounds malamute, I felt so vulnerable and weak, and then we never went on an early morning walk again. Sarah Everard's case really got to me. The idea that one day I could be in the wrong place at the wrong time, that someone with authority may use their power over me, and I'll end up raped and dead in a ditch somewhere. At least they found out what happened to her I guess. The thought of never being found and my partner, family, and friends wondering what the hell happened is awful to imagine. But I'm also afraid of something like that happening and living through it. There's a very high chance that justice would never be dealt with the system being the way it is, and it could utterly ruin my life. I'm also very fearful of ever being pregnant, or being forced to give birth. Thankfully, I live somewhere where our abortion laws slash access is unlikely to be removed, but you can never be certain. I agree with you, I think it was a real reminder for a lot of women about how easy it is to be coerced into dangerous circumstances. I'm haunted by my thoughts about what it must have been like for Sarah. I can imagine her doing everything right, absolutely everything, and still ending up raped, murdered, and shoved into a refrigerator by a pathetic lump of a man who happened to have a badge. I will never allow myself to be arrested by a single office, no matter the gender. The institution that we are taught to turn to in times of need or danger, we feel we can no longer trust. It is heartbreaking. I agree, I feel for any woman who is the victim of such a crime, but the agony over her murder seems so protracted, obviously because of the circumstances of it. I can't even look at pictures of her anymore, because I look at her face, and know what is going to happen to her. I see the faces of my friends in her face. If I were to go missing or be killed, which of my pictures would be used? It was terrible enough to know back in March a police officer confessed to the crime, but to know last month he actively used his power and knowledge to get away with it. I simply cannot deal with it. One of my friends lives less than 10 minutes away from where she was abducted. And now, we are seeing a spate of police officers being investigated and charged for a multitude of crimes. Horrible. I used to live where she was taken from. I jogged and walked there all the time. It unnerved me a great deal when it happened. It reminded me that anywhere safe and comforting for one person can be the most traumatic place for another. That case was truly terrifying. Dying in childbirth. Ah this too, I get nervous whenever I think about potential pregnancy. I always think about having a partner that will stand up for me if the doctors give me vibes that they are not helping out with birth. That's why I'm never having kids. Never. Yo this is a good one and it's so true. Like you've waited for months to see your child, but your body just can't take it anymore and it just shuts down, and before you know it, it's already too late and your chance to live with your child and see them grow is over. That was a long <laughs> sentence lol but it's truly heartbreaking. 
sexual violence, obviously, but also being unable to deal with how society treats me, once I'm not youthful and attractive anymore. I know I'm worth much more than my appearances. But I'm afraid, that there will be people who will not know that. Agreed. I often think, and worry, about why we apparently lose our value the older we get. Whereas older men are generally still considered good looking, and actually become more respected and important. OMG I feel the same way. I am only in my late 20 years, 27, and I already feel myself feeling pushed out by society and the younger 21 crowd. I keep trying to tell myself I am still young but it don't know it feel that way. Aging has a lot of upsides as well. We come into our own power as we get older. What society thinks? There are lots of older women doing amazing things, living amazing lives. Also, no one has made me feel like I'm less valuable as I get older, tbh with you. I feel like I get more respect. I love being almost 50. I laugh loudly. I have stopped caring, as much, what anyone thinks. I shaved my hard or something I had wanted to do since my teens. I step out in fear because yalo. I started EMDR therapy. I keep people around me who I want around me. And I have got wrinkles and saggy skin and grey hair, what little there is. But I also get to play with anti-aging treatments, and try different Macube styles. All that to say, your 40 years are in so bad. I get really upset that, often, I stop myself from helping random people, because I am afraid they try to hurt, or assault me. Recently, my BF and I were driving, and saw a guy in the side of the road with his car broken. My boyfriend just stopped to ask him, if he needed anything. I would never, at night, alone, stop to help a man. This, I have thought about stopping and helping people before. I'll do it, if I'm with another person and there are some people around. But I'll never stop at night, or when there's no one around, even if a large male friend is with me. I never stop in a road to help anyone, if I am alone. I want to help, but I know I am putting myself in danger if I do. It is. Ed up. My husband dying. This. My aunt just lost hers. And whenever I talk about mine she makes comments like I'll never have someone like that again. It is so completely heartbreaking. I don't ever want to lose my husband. Same. Same. I don't know what my son and I would do without my husband. It's quite honestly the worst. Me too. Climate change. Making it to old age, and not hearing bird song, because of mass extinctions. I darkly joke that climate change is my retirement plan. I'm in my 30s. I don't expect to make it to old age because of climate change. Our civilization I know it gonna last another 200 years at this rate. The sad part is we have the technology to replace coal and oil but since our tiger vermin or governments would rather play war and let those companies make bull. Excuses to keep destroying our planet the changes that needed to be made years ago want to be made for another generation of when are lucky. I heard the phrase laughing for her life in a podcast yesterday about Cheryl Ann Arojo, the victim in the first televised trial of rape. One of her assailants asked if she was going to give him a blowjob and she la ugodo regota response slash reflex for keeping the tone as light as possible and hoping someone will get the hint and leave you alone. They did not. While she did not directly say no and clearly reject him, she never said yes, put your in my mouth. He did anyways. Listening to the details about her trial and hearing what irrelevant citizens had to say is why some women do not even attempt to include law enforcement, nonetheless proceed with pressing charges. She died about four years later and all of her assailants were released from jail not long after oh not a single one serving longer than six years I Ike. She was 21 when she was locked in a bar, raped, and her attackers were cheered on by others. I have begun to fear the aftermath in attempting to get justice in a rape case a bit more than I fear the rape itself. I guess a lack of societal solidarity. S me up. Channel Miller is another that comes to mind. I don't know what her life looks like now, but can you imagine going through all of that for so much of the narrative to be reduced to, but her as a good swimmer or something. 
I'm done like that. I just gave up on the idea of him getting punishment and I just relieved myself of the guilt of knowing Hela is probably doing it again and again. Hela is a professor so try fighting against a reputable man with a big career. That. I also cannot just post an ad like looking for other victims of asterisk asterisk asterisk. I used to live in that town and work at one of the bars and these types of dudes chill out. Bartending made me even more wary of men than I already was. Seeing how they prey on drunk women is traumatizing. It hurt me worse than actually being raped myself. Dying while my children are still minors. This is my biggest fear. I'm a single mom. Their dad isn't capable of caring for them alone. My side of the family is full of poverty, drugs and abuse. They would end up in the system and more than likely abused in every way just like my family was. It almost happened, after I caught covered in March. Mine as well. Rape and pregnancy. And getting pregnant via rape. The fact that I am physically overpowered by people who wants to harm me. So scary, even when I'm play fighting with my BF I realize how easy it is for him. Even arm wrestling I can't budge him a centimeter. This. To be entirely honest. Pregnancy, and what would come after, if no access to abortion. I'm 40 and my husband had a vasectomy, so a pretty baseless fear these days, but the concept still terrifies me. It would destroy everything I've worked so hard to accomplish in my life. I already replied, before reading the rest of this thread, but honestly, this would be it for me. I'm seriously concerned for the state of the US at this point and I've told my fiancé that, if it gets worse, I'm leaving. I won't risk it, and I won't raise kids, that I eventually would want, in a country that treats its women like People. Mostly men. While most of them are harmless and okay, the ones that aren't, really ruin it for everyone involved. And while most of them are harmless and okay, most of the time they won't stand up for you either. They're just somewhere in the middle, watching you get harassed, interrupted, disrespected, pushed to the point where you break, and when you break, you're hysteric, you're arrogant, you're a and you should learn how to control yourself. And while they're not the aggressors, they're not the advocates either. I'm afraid of having my peace interrupted by them. I'm afraid of having to change jobs again. Because the guy harassing me isn't harassing me enough to get suspended, so it's me who has to go. I'm afraid of opening up to a new man, just to find out he's an abuser, all over again. I'm afraid of being used for my qualities and assets, and not being loved for my... Haha, <laughs> <laughs> personality. Hermit Life FTW. This. I am so sorry you had to experience the things you did re. Men. Maybe I should stop watching forensic files. 1. Men in general. 2. Getting pregnant. Accidentally killing my baby. If that happened I'm pretty certain I'd have to kill myself, because I'd never be able to live with it. So I'm super paranoid and basically haven't slept deeply, since giving birth 2 months ago. Edit, thanks for all the well wishes. I have been in therapy, since halfway through my pregnancy working to make sure things don't get too hard. My husband is super supportive too. I'm doing okay it's just impossible to get rid of that fear completely. Also I'm breastfeeding, so it's not easy to sleep in 2 hour chunks anyway, ha. Look up postpartum anxiety. Please see a doctor they can help. The intrusive thoughts of early motherhood are unreal, and though terrifying, quite normal. I have read that it could actually be an evolutionary adaptation. You picture something terrible, like throwing your baby down the stairs, and then hold them closer and protect them. However, if it is affecting your sleep, that badly please talk to someone. You aren't alone. I'm not even a mum, but I have nightmares about accidentally breaking my niece's necks. My sisters, both have small babies, belong to support groups with other young parents, and they find it really beneficial. Look after yourself, hope your fears become more manageable, and you get some good sleep soon. A dear friend of mine experienced this same theme of anxiety, when she was postpartum. She began to feel relief through therapy and I encourage you to consider as well.
Another option is to find a postpartum doula near you. They can aid with hands-on knowledge and help you through the physical process of parenting. Try both if it is comfortable in your budget. You are not alone and there are others that can help. Yao are doing your best, and that is exactly what Yao are supposed to be doing. Yao yeah, have got this. Warm hugs to you. Make sure you reach out for any supports you can find. Anxiety like this about my kids is part of what caused me to start self-harming at 23 years old until I got it under control. Never being able to bear children, never becoming a mother, losing my partner. Seems a completely different vein than most replies here, but I'm blessed enough to feel fairly safe, physically, so I don't dwell on fears like physical assault. The fear of never getting to build a family. That keeps me awake at night and crushes my heart. First world problems, I suppose. As a person who can't bear children, and thought it was the literal end of the world. I promise, promise you that, if that fear becomes a reality, you will be okay, you will hurt like heck then survive. You will build a beautiful life, that isn't what you expected, but is so blindingly beautiful, that you feel undeserving. I am terrified of having children, because of climate change. I feel like that option was taken away from me and it hurts so much. I stand with you here as well. You have worded it so perfectly for me, especially the addition of being blessed enough to feel fairly safe. This fear is my main outlet for my anxiety, next to still not being happy, if I do manage to bear a child. The best I can do, is live one day at a time. I wish you well on your own journey. Being elderly and in poverty. This is mine too. I've got some anxiety around money anyways, but imagining being elderly and poor is terrifying. I don't plan to ever marry or have children, and my family is tiny, so I need to be prepared to support myself. Yes, absolutely. I'm saving for retirement like crazy. I'm terrified of being old, poor, in bad health, and having difficulty with the basics of living. Being raped. Rape, assault, catcalling, violent sexism, stalking. Men. Murdered by an so. Or an ex so. Raped, beaten up, incurable STDs, losing my ability to walk, turn blind. Being raped or put in sex trafficking. Being blamed if I get sexually harassed this being raped again same can't even attempt to get justice in a he said she said situation one of mine is also famous slash with a child and the thought of that attention terrifies me a gang rape and then getting pregnant and not knowing which rapist impregnated me and getting some steez for complimentary suffering that's it men tbh I'm ace with no preference, so technically you'd date any gender. But for safety reasons I won't date men right now. Or maybe even ever. Yes I find them aesthetically pleasing and whatnot, but I'm too afraid of getting taken advantage of slash abused. For anyone that doesn't know, ace is asexual. It means not being sexually attracted to people. You can be attracted in other ways, such as their personality, or for aesthetic reasons. Hi, fellow ace. Honestly I agree. I wish I hadn't ever let myself date men. Both have been abusive. Once I get out of this one I'm gonna stay smart. Hopefully. LOL. Honestly at this point, just walking anywhere alone. Unless it is light outside, and I am walking in a busy area, I wanna go anywhere alone. Which sucks because I just wanna live my life without fear of being abducted, raped, or murdered. It is scary having a daughter in this world too. I am absolutely dreading her getting older, and going out alone. This thread is so sad, and makes me so mad, that women cannot just live their lives without this kind of fear. I'd love to see a male equivalent of this thread, and see the responses there. It's so sad to see that we are all scared of men in general. People think I have developed an irrational fear of men in general, but when you are women growing up in India, you don't know 
if you are going to make it back home safely, every time you leave the house. I am not just afraid for me, I'm afraid for my 60 years old mother, my 2 year old niece, and every other woman in my family. It's just heartbreaking. Same position. Sometimes I wish I wasn't born here. True. Acid attack also. That is beyond evil and dehumanizing. Sulfuric acid or whatever, should not be easily attainable by anyone, much less straight white men. It is not even just white men either. I think South Asia and the Middle East have a lot of acid attack cases, when a woman rejects someone. Men, racist women, and dying right before, during, and right after childbirth. Not all men, just the ones that are racist, and think women are property, and believe they have a say in woman as reproductive rights, and are refined crazy. Being alone. This is my fear too. I'm honestly beyond saddened by all the others who have some relation to men slash assault as this. Being raped and tortured. Mine are all health related, cancer cancer treatment, and being diagnosed with any terminal health condition that will kill me within the next year or so. I'm afraid of suffering physically, and declining because of it with no option of assisted suicide. Most of my family work in healthcare and some of their stories are terrifying. People can still die horrible deaths, while afraid, even when they are in a well-staffed and very well-equipped hospital. I agree. Worry a lot about this stuff. I worry so much about getting a serious illness. My insurance sucks, so there is no way I'd even be able to afford treatment. I never worried about cancer, until I got a job adjacent to cancer patients and treatment, and now I worry about it all the time. Not just the illness either, though it's horrible, but because in the US we really don't support people through serious illness, so many people have, so many additional struggles as a result. Absolutely nothing like hearing one of the dietitians talk about how many of her patients are food insecure, even ones who were relatively comfortable before illness being raped again but worse being murdered or kidnapped you've been visited by the ghost of a very important man pay your respects by liking and subscribing and he'll grant you three weeks of good luck so good luck